Okay, let's understand what all element we have in reinforcement learning. Now, majorly we have you know uh, five to six you know elements. Uh, I mean named as agent, environment, state, action, reward, policy, and value. Okay, so let's understand one by one uh, what all these elements are. Okay, so first of all, let's understand environment. Now, the environment is you know uh, it's like a physical world in which uh, the agent operates. So I mean it is like a you know source of sensory input for agent and determine the consequence of you know agent actions so the environment you know can be uh, simulated such as you know video game or it can be you know real world such as robot operating in a factory like that now next is state okay that particular state so what is state now the state is a you know current situation of the agent at a particular point uh, in time uh, so it, it it's like a representation of environment including relevant information about the uh, agent like current location uh, velocity other factor that affect the agent action okay the agent state is you know used to determine the appropriate action to take next so suppose agent is standing here now your goal is to reach point you know a or b okay so you have uh, you have defined that you want to reach point a so the agent will go straight and take left right and that is how uh, i mean uh, the state help us determine the appropriate action to take next so from here it can either go straight uh, and then either take left or right right and this way agent interact and get the appropriate action that it has to take next now what is reward next like like i said in previous video also a reward is like a feedback from the environment that the agent received you know based on its action okay and it is used to reinforce or you you can say discourage certain behavior okay so reward can be positive or negative and um, i mean can be uh, immediate or you know delayed reward uh, so so the goal of the agent is to you know maximize the cumulative reward over time and that is what repo reward represents okay now the policy okay so policy tells us what to do next okay and uh, i mean there only you know you deal with all the mathematical uh, functions so we'll see that later as well so let's understand what policy is the policy is like a method you know used to map the agent state to action okay so it is you know a set of rule that agent has to follow to determine the appropriate action to be taken based on the current state where exactly the agent currently i mean is now the policy can be you know deterministic or stochastic depending on you know whether um, uh, the same state always map to same action or not so that is what policy now let's understand value what value means now the value is like a you know future reward that an agent would you know receive by taking a, uh, an action in a you know particular um, a particular state so it represent you know expected cumulative reward over time if the agent follow a particular policy okay uh, the value can be you know estimated using um, uh, techniques like monte carlo uh, temporal difference and you know other techniques to evaluate effectiveness of different policies and that is what value represent now last one is let's understand action and agent together okay so an action is like a software uh, program that learn um, its environment and take action to maximize its reward so an action is like a choice that the agent make um at each step of interaction with the environment so for example in a chess game the agent is a player and the action is moving a piece on the board like hope you understand this one right so agent is a player and the action is moving a piece on the board and that is what action is the agent goal is to you know learn the policy that map each state or you can say board configuration to the optimal action or you can say best move that lead to winning the game and that is what you know how you define a particular action how agent takes yeah so these are all element we have in you know reinforcement learning 
next we'll learn uh, all the advantage disadvantage and then we further move to uh, you know different type of algorithm we have in reinforcement learning